The Scattered Tree Avatar is a Remembrance boss that's easily overlooked and easily missed if you don't know where you're going in Shadow of the Earth Tree. I'll be quickly going over how you can get to this Remembrance boss, so if you haven't fought this boss yet and don't want it to be spoiled for you, click off the video now. Other than that, let's get into it. The very first thing you have to do is get to the Shadow Keep and drop the water level that is surrounding the Shadow Keep. There's a couple of different ways to get there, but this is by far the fastest that I've been able to come across. So from the Church District entrance site of Grace, you want to jump across all the different rooftops that you see in front of you from this site of Grace until you get to a part of the Shadow Keep that allows you to jump into the main building. It will be very obvious in a second what I'm meaning, but at the same time when you're jumping across, look out for the exploding zombies and also the Fire Knights that will absolutely torch you if you allow them to. Jump onto the ledge that you're seeing in front of you onto the main building and you'll quickly see a caved in part of the roof. Jump inside and jump into one more broken part of the roof and you'll be inside the main shadow keep. From here it's very straightforward. You're going to see a bunch of corridors, a bunch of side rooms that you can go into, but follow the path that I'm showing you through the first main entrance that you see and immediately take a left where you see a bunch of bats hanging around in the area and a lot of water surrounding you. Keep following this path until you come across a small building that also has a ladder that takes you to the top of this small building. On top of the small building you'll see a lever you get to push this lever is actually how you start declining the water inside of the area and draining the entire lower section of the shadow keep it's a pretty cool cinematic in my opinion they definitely took a lot of time to animate this but at the end of this you'll have an entire area that you have not been able to explore before which is a lot of fun once the cinematic finishes, go back down the ladder and you'll see the building is no longer filled with water. Drop down and very quickly you'll see an entire area that I was just mentioning is open for you to explore finally. Now as soon as you exit this building, you want to go to the right where this abandoned building is going to have a site of grace. This is where we're going to start our next part of the journey to get to the Scattered Tree Avatar. This new site of grace is called the Sunken Chapel Site of Grace. What we're going to do is from here turn around back to where we came from and make our way inside of the Shadow Keep once more. The entrance won't be too hard to find when you go to the right right outside of that building you'll quickly come across what looks like a giant church area filled with an enemy that i won't spoil for you but also a bunch of fire zombies that are going to chase after you and explode near you run past these guys to the right or fight them whatever you want to do into this other open area you will see a door they need to open and it will quickly open up to an elevator you need to take all the way down once you're at the bottom you'll be greeted by another site of grace and from here it's very straightforward to where you have to go next because there really is only one path forward the site of grace that we just interacted with is called a tree worship passage site of grace and from here like i said a second ago it's very straightforward you're going to go down the pathway through this tunnel and very quickly come across an old rickety bridge cross the bridge and don't worry there's nothing special about it nothing's going to attack it or break it you just need to get across the bridge to where you see another giant statue of america take left or right and very quickly you'll come across another side of grace this is called the tree worship sanctum side of grace and before we go even further to show you what the scattered tree avatar looks like your last chance to click off the video before i go into the boss room so from here it's very obvious you want to enter into this area the very first time you're going to get ambushed by the actual scattered tree avatar it's a fun boss fight in my opinion but also very annoying if you don't understand part of the mechanics of the fight when you're going against this boss you will have to knock it down three times and give it three critical hits for it to officially be killed now to fight against this thing is very interesting where its weak points are it's very obvious where the weak point is but it does a lot more damage when you hit the face the actual flower part of the scattered tree avatar instead of the trunk of the avatar when you go up and actually fight this thing and just target the trunk instead of the actual head of the avatar you'll see very quickly what i'm talking about now once you have defeated this avatar you will of course be dropped the remembrance of this boss the remembrance of the shadow sunflower but you'll also be dropped something else that's very interesting called mikola's great rune now this great rune can't be used like all the other great runes inside of the base game it's used for another boss fight later on in the game which i will not spoil in this video because it's a really fun boss fight and of course just like all the other remembrances in the game you could take it to the finger reader back at the round table hold to get some fun items or you could use it to get a bunch of runes if you're have all the items your options for remembrance rewards are the shadow sunflower blossom which is essentially a giant hammer and it also does a cool effect when you slam it onto the ground it causes a giant area of effect just kind of like the move that it does against you when you're actually fighting it and your other option is the land of shadow incantation with a high level of 58 faith to actually use think of all the different beams that it shoots at you on one of the particular moves during the fight this is exactly what it is and you can get it for yourself but a short sweet and to the point video on how to get to an area that a lot of people 
people I've seen online have a hard time getting to for the first time. And when you undo the water levels inside of the Shadow Keep, you run into a couple other interactions that drop a lot of cool items and a lot of different items you can use in other quest lines. Just something to keep in mind. But as always, I hope you guys did find this helpful. If you did, make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons for me down below so I know that it was helpful. And let me know your favorite part of this entire boss fight when you do get there down in the comments. Once again, I hope you guys did find this helpful, and I'll catch you in the next video.